Have you ever wondered about the life goals of the square block in Tetris? Is it plotting a tragic love triangle with the L block, or perhaps seeking revenge against that dastardly T block for untold betrayal? No, of course not, that's fucking stupid. But does that mean that story in games is about as necessary as, I don't know, story in porn? John Carmack once said that story in a game is like story in a porn movie. It's expected to be there, but it's not important. Sure, Doomguy doesn't have a deep story. He isn't penning love sonnets to his wife who is cheating on him with a rodeo clown. Doomguy is a violent kill machine who lets his shotgun do the talking. But to say stories in all games are as superfluous as plot and porn, that's where I'm drawing the line. Not every game needs an epic backdrop. If Tetris suddenly unraveled a story of betrayal and heartache, I'd be lost because that doesn't make any sense. But to paint a whole industry with the same plotless brush is to miss the forest for the trees. Think about the legends. Would Final Fantasy VII still be revered if not for its intricate dance of environmentalism, identity, love, betrayal, and cross-dressing? Could it capture hearts if Cloud were just a pizza delivery guy giving Tifa a special delivery? These stories transform pixels to emotions, characters to friends, and gameplay to experiences. Narrative in games isn't just an extra bit of fill time, it can often be a vital building block. Video games have long shattered the rescue the princess mold. They're narratives that challenge our morals, spark our imagination, and yes, even break our hearts. They've evolved beyond simple pastimes to artful narratives that stand toe to toe with the best cinema and literature. And I'm not just saying that because modern movies suck. I mean, they, they do, but that's not what I'm saying. Let's face it, games are the canvas of the modern storyteller. To ignore the narrative is to silence the voice of an entire generation. So let's celebrate the tales that keep our controllers gripped and our hearts vested long after the credits roll. So it's your turn now. Hit the comments section. Or just stand there and talk shit on me. I really don't care.